first thing I would like to show you guys is where you find the power circuit breakers in Eaton, Cutler Hammer um, Consulting Manual. If you're an engineer or a high-level electrician, mass electrician, this is your Bible. There's so many Bibles. This is another Bible that you have to have next to you. This is um, uh, power circuit breakers, guys. What I would like you to, so these are the top-notch circuit breakers that you can buy. That's as high as you can get in the low-voltage system, 600 volt or less. Power circuit breakers, and we talked about molded case circuit breakers. You guys are looking at the same thing. Here's what I want to mention here, a couple of things. We're going to be talking about the adjustable circuit breakers. This is where you can push a couple of buttons, guys. Um, with a screwdriver or with your hand and adjust the settings of the circuit breakers. That's kind of the topic for the day, adjusting the settings of the circuit breakers. Um, you can look at, read through them. I'm going to go directly into the specification, which is right in here. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of things, guys, uh, later on that we're going to be sizing based on this. So let me go and start with my lecture and I, I refer directly to it as we go through. Okay, here you go. Um, so this is this is what a typical circuit breaker will have. And you guys have a copy of this. I apologize, uh, apologize it's really busy. Um, do me a favor, before you do anything, see that where it says 27, change this one because I made a mistake. This is, should be 26. So you're looking at 26, 26 dash, uh, 1-7, 26-1-7. Seven. This is where uh, Cutler, Hammer, Eaton, uh, Magnum, DS, Power Circuit Breakers. Let me walk you guys a couple of things about the circuit breakers. The, the most important thing up to this time, Ashley, we have been using, up to this time, we have been using uh, 240. Dot, uh, let me go power. Okay, my, uh, uh, I'm starting my... Uh, There you go. Uh, let's go to 240. There you go, circuit breakers. Up to this to this point, we have been using 240.6, Chris, and we refer to 240.6 many, many times. Um, 240.6, right here. Uh, yeah, you guys have, uh, you should have a copy of that stuff. Can you please see? We're one short. Okay, you can make yourself yeah. okay. Um, so up to this point, guys, um, my friends, we've been using. I referred you many, many times. If I can write on this to um, two point dot six a, and first we were looking at fifteen through six thousand amps, and we rarely ever talked about uh, B. So you can see section B here. Section B says adjustable circuit breakers. We always refer to fixed circuit breakers, right? But now we're going to be referring to adjustable circuit breakers. Adjustable circuit breakers, the rating of the adjustable circuit breakers having external means for adjusting the current settings, long time pickup. Does that sound familiar to you? Long time pickup settings, not meeting the requirement, shall be the maximum setting possible. Um, so this is where we're going to be sizing, based on B. And it tells you the sittings have to be restricted. When you do the sittings, after you finish doing the sittings, you have to put it under a cover or in a room where nobody can walk in. And 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 basically, it weakens the circuit breakers from 100 amp to 1,000 amp, right? So this is where it will tell you restricted access adjustable trip circuit breakers. These have to have some restriction, removable covers, bolted equipment, locked doors. Um, like the room that we went when we went to Allianz, guys, these rooms are restricted. Not any average Joe can walk into this room and start tweaking the, the settings of the circuit breaker. Here's what they want to, here's, here's what this is going to achieve. Number one, you can you can almost find unlimited, you can, well, you can find any size you want if you have an adjustable circuit breaker, number one. Number two, people can screw up things, meaning you can go tweak a 100 amp circuit breaker sitting to make it 1,000 amp. What does that do to your system? You could screw up, burn the whole, uh, the whole uh, burn the circuit it burn the cables so can i get a thumbs up chad we know what we're referring to adjustable circuit breaker in the code right in here which is 240.6 b we always refer to a today we're going to refer to b so write yourself a note um that this is what we're going to be referring to and then we'll go back into our presentation here 
a couple of things I want to mention. Um, adjustable circuit breakers, guys, I drew it right here for you. They have uh, five segments, always five segments. And when we went to Mishad Kuli Erickson, they talked about this one too. They have so-called long time pickup. This is this piece here, long time pickup. That's this piece. This is your overload. That's the one that's going to be looking at your overload. Cool. Then they have another piece that's called short time pickup. This will be most likely ground fold, picking up ground fold if you have a ground fold pickup. And they have the instantaneous pickup. That leg here, the instantaneous pickup, right? Instantaneous pickup, my friends, is the one that's going to, when all hell break loose and you have a three-phase short circuit in your building, that's the leg that's going to handle you. All of them guys are looking at overcurrent, but they're looking at, at this amount of overcurrent is overload. This amount of overcurrent is ground fault. This amount of overcurrent is short circuit. That's exactly what you're looking at. The horizontal axis is always the, the, the current. Vertical axis is the time. So three current settings. Then they also have delay, time. Long time delay. So long time pickup, that's the overload. Long time delay, that's uh, uh, that how long you want to you wanna allow the overload to stay in your building. Okay? Short time pickup, this is the so ground fold. Short time delay, how long do you want the ground fault to sit in your system five cycles or ten cycles okay instantaneous obviously instantaneous immediately within three cycles bam your circuit breaker should trip almost all circuit breakers are ends and fuses are rated crisp to trip within three cycles three cycles is one twentieth of a second three over sixty one twentieth of a second any question guys about long time pickup long time uh, delay short time pickup short time delay and instantaneous you can adjust any one of them yes sir between uh, STD short time delay yeah. and an LTD long time delay, yeah. long time delay will delay the overload. Short time delay will delay will delay tripping on overload. Short time delay will delay tripping on ground fault or smaller short circuit. One of them delay the overload. You know what an overload is. Everybody knows what an overload is. Overload uh, a circuit breaker that's supposed to take. 20 amps and you're pulling 25 amps that's an overload a ground fault a circuit breaker that's supposed to have 20 amps and you're pulling 120 amps out of it that's a ground fault a short circuit a 20 amp circuit breaker and you you want to pull uh, say 1000 amp out of this circuit breaker that's a short circuit the all of them guys are the same except a higher level of, of amps any question about this graphic if you don't understand this graphic good luck and understand the uh, uh, stm or any of these coordination so that's the curve um, what I did, guys, I, that your circuit breaker will look something like this cubicle. Uh, you will have on the circuit cubicle, it's a foot by a foot by a foot most of the time when you guys look at him, almost for the most part, one foot by one foot by one foot. Big boy. <clears throat> I'll talk about the ground in a second. So five sittings for the uh, circuit breaker. Then when you go to your circuit breaker, guys, right on the circuit breaker, there's very, very important... Um, four things about every power circuit breaker. You have to understand all you're doing. Number one, actually they call it the frame size. The frame size is meaningless other than what is the largest, fattest, fluffiest circuit breaker you can, you can, you can fit in this slot or in this uh, cubicle, in this hole. There's a hole in the switch gear, guys. What's the largest that you can fit in it, right? That's what, what, uh, so when you say frame size of 3,200 3, amps, that's from Color Hammer, um, Magnum BS. I'll show you in a second, 26-17. When you pick 3,200 uh, 3, amps, this means you cannot fit physically more than 3,200 amps. That's all. doesn't mean anything. Any question, guys, about the frame size, what the frame size means? It's basically what the physical dimension that you can fit in this. In, in, it, no. It, it will decide the function of current, yes. It will decide the largest, the largest circuit breaker, amp-wise, that you can install in this space. Yes, yes, thank you. Most of them are similar, very similar. GE and, uh, and square D, this very similar. Okay, now we got the box. It's 32, I can't install more than 3,200 amps. Right next to it, they call it sensor uh, size. Guess what they do, guys, inside the box, the square, the cube, inside this cube box, they have, do you see that, uh, that little 
sensor. Sensors are CTs, the CTs that they install to sense the current. So I have a 3200 amp uh, box, and I want to sense at 200 amp, uh, 2000 amps, meaning I put CTs that can sense up to 2000 amps. And you can change them. You can change these sensors. But Chris, here's the limitation. I can't make the sensor higher than what? The frame. So the frame is the limit. Cool? So I can have a 3200 amp and I can sense it at 3200 amps or at 2000 amps or at 1000 amps as long as I don't go higher than 3200 amps. These are the CTs they're going to do. You're sensing the amount of current. Yes, you're sensing the amount of current by having a donut CTs, current transformers. The second thing inside the circuit breaker guide is something called plug size. Plug size you you have full control over plug size. You get into the circuit breaker, the big fat circuit breaker, and, and I can plug every circuit breaker by manufacturer comes with a plug size. So, for example, I have a frame size of 3200, my sensor is 2000, and I can buy a plug up to 2000. This is literally a hole in the face of your, um, your, your circuit breaker, and you can go buy different plugs. Here's a 1,000 amp plug. Now this circuit breaker is 1,000. Here is a 2,000 amp plug. This circuit breaker now is a 2,000. I want to remind you, no matter what you do, you can't go higher than what, than what the sensor can give you. If the sensor is limited to 2,000, the plugs, what do you think the plugs will be limited to? 2,000. So each one of them limit the other. Can you see the frame limit the sensor? The sensor limit the plug. And guess what the plug is going to do? The plug is also going to go limit the, the settings, the settings of our circuit breaker. So this is an example of one that you purchased that set for 32 max, 32 kilo, 3200 amp max. Absolutely. You happen to purchase it with a 2600 amp sensor. With a, in this case, a 2000 amp sensor. I bought it, and then I have the option to change it to a thousand amp or two thousand amp or maybe five hundred, depending how many manufacturers can put sensors. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So we got to the frame 5200, we have the sensor 2000, we have the plug in size 1000. So these are the three things. As, a, as an owner, I have control over the plug. I can plug 2000 amp or I can plug 1000 amp, depending on what the sizes that the manufacturer provides. Then after you plug it, then you can even limit it lower to that. You can have your settings. Remember that long time pickup, short time pickup, long time delay and instantaneous? Then I go down to the settings. The settings are these dials or push buttons I'm going to have to adjust the circuit breakers. So I have long time pickup. Typically, you can go from point 0.1 all the way to 1. So I can, if I sit, actually, if I have my plug sit at 1,000 and I put my dial it down to point 0.4, so that will be point 0.4 times 1,000 will give you what? 400 amp. Now, this big fat boy, that's frame of 3,200 amp, sensor of 2,000, plug of 1,000, if I dial it down to point 0.4, it acts as, acts as a 400 amp circuit breaker. And I size the conductor for a 400 amp circuit, 400 amp. So very, very interesting how you can adjust a 3200 amp uh, circuit breaker frame down into a 400 amp circuit breaker. So you can go from point, typically from point one all the way to one in increments of point one. So I have this one goes from point four to one. Okay, so that's the pickup. That's your uh, overload situation. Then, the long time delay, how long do I want the circuit breaker to wait before it trips on a long time pickup? That's, for this circuit breaker, typically 5 to 50 seconds, give or take, from the manufacturer. We have the short time pickup. We talked about short time pickup, guys. Short time pickup, believe it or not, it's a multiplier of the long time pickup. You'll see in a second when we do the exercise. Um, so. Short time pickup is a ground fault or small level short circuit. I want him to pick on five times whatever I set the long time pickup. So if my pickup is, is sitting at one, one times a, a thousand, this is a thousand. At five thousand, if I dial it to five, this circuit picker will trip on short time pickup. Then we go to short time delay. How long do I want to delay it? One to three seconds. So and then we go to the instantaneous. If all hell break loose, I want my circuit breaker to trip, and I want to set it at 35 times the long time pickup. 
Um, so that's where your short circuit is. When do you want the circuit breaker to pick on, on a short circuit? When do you want it to pick on a short circuit? Okay, so these are the settings. And the last thing is, is a ground fault. Almost all uh, adjustable power circuit breakers will have a ground fault on them. Um, and you're gonna have your ground fault is very simple. Ground fault is that you have a pickup and you can, you can have a, a delay, how long you wanna delay this, this ground fault. So if I have a ground fault on my 4,000 amp switch gear, do I want it to pick at uh, uh, 30 cycles or uh, 15 cycles? So we'll see, we'll look at these one in a second. So that's the ground fault is kind of a separate function in the circuit breaker. So that's what a typical adjustable power circuit breaker will look like. I can't emphasize the most important number first day we'll be dealing with is I can make a 3200 amp frame circuit breaker down to a 400 amp. What does that mean is I can size in the conductors to for a 400 amp. What this will give you guys will give you a lot, and these are a lot of values to adjust. And all these are dials on the circuit breaker, like we saw when we went to Allianz. You can dial them down with a screwdriver, or you can a push button. You can push them and adjust them. Obviously, like we we looked at the code, guys. The code have to have some restrictions on that. You cannot, if you are to use this type type of circuit breaker, you have to put them behind closed doors, or panels have to be closed so people don't adjust them. Just keep you know, adjusting these circuit breakers uh, and change the settings for them. Any question about adjustable circuit breakers? Yeah, Your code reference? Value. You what? The instantaneous value is, where do you set the term for that? The instantaneous value is a multiple of your settings that you put right here. I, I'm going to do a calculation in a second. You'll see how they calculate it in the software. We'll, we'll, we're gonna, so the example that we're going to do, guys, after we talk to Phil for a second here, is we're going to take up, we have an example of a circuit breaker, and we're going to go size all these five things, or six things, no, five things. We're going to go size all these five things. So I'm going to give you a frame and a sensor and a plug, and I ask you to find the long time pickup, short time pickup, delay, instantaneous, and so forth. And then we switch with SKM and we go pick this Magnum DS circuit breaker and we do coordination for three branches basically. Three branches. Any question about this? So that's where we, before I, uh, before I, uh, uh, Phil, can I have one more second here before you talk? <laughs> uh, then we'll, let's go to Color Hammer. I told you guys, if you're an engineer or in the business, this uh, the consulting manual is your baby. You can't, you must have this big fat book. Uh, Phil can tell you a lot of stuff about this. I mean, as engineers, this is this is your manual when it comes to it. So I picked the the Magnum DS switch gear. This is the top notch you're gonna put in your building, and I want to highlight a few things, guys, right here. This will give you the frames. So remember the frame amps that we said? You can buy this baby as 800 amp, 1200 amp, 1600 amp, 2000 amps, all the way down, if you go all the way down to 6000 amp frame. Cool? So that's my frame. These are my frames. And since our project, guys, is a 4000 amp, I want to see if I can grab, oops, yeah. So our project is a 4000 amp, so my frame size is going to be 4000 amp. Cool? Um, a 4000 amp. And then what I need to do, a 4,000 amp circuit breaker, guys, comes with the plug. These are your sensor, current sensor slash plug strip units, current sensors. These, how, these are the plugs that I can buy with this circuit breaker. I can make a 4,000 amp. So this means I can make it 2,000 amp, 2,500 amp, 3,200 amp, or 4,000 amps. These are your plugs. These are the plugs that you can buy and change at any time. Say today, I want to I, I want to limit this one to 2,000 amp. We have a growth in the building. We can go get rid of the 2,000 amp, install a 4,000 amp right into the circuit breakers, obviously pull new cables for it, and up it goes with the 4,000 amp. So I can't emphasize the frame, and this is your plug, uh, your plug or sensor mixed together in this case. Any question guys about this? So that's the one I'm going to be using. When we go to our project, this is the one I'm going to be using in SKM. 
This will be your main. This circuit breaker we're using for main, sir, uh, main circuit breaker. And uh, for the for everything else, so Chris, um, what was the size of your um, mechanical panel one? Can you please give me the size of your mechanical panel one? Uh, was it 600? So this is where you... 400. 400. Now this is where you become very creative. So the main is going to be a 4,000 amp. I have, uh, I need a circuit breaker, which is a 400 amp circuit breaker. So should I go for a frame of a 4,000 for it? No. So I have, so this frame of, uh, my frame of 800, let's see what the pick would be. All right. So frame of four, or 800, guys, is good enough for me. And then look what I do. From a frame of 800, I can go plug it at what? 400. So I have a frame of 800, that's the smallest that I can buy anyway, and I can plug it at 400, I got myself a 400 amp circuit breaker for my mechanical panel, for my mechanical panel. Any question guys about this? So when you go to your switch gear, all the circuit breakers inside your switch gear are going to be this type. So when you get into your switch gear, first of all you're going to ask yourself, what's the, what's the, what's the circuit breaker that I need? 400 amp? You're going to find the frame 800 and then find the plug and then you do the settings. Um, I think, what was it, the chiller? Was it 1200 amp, the chiller? What did you guys come up with? The, was it 12 or 1600 amp for the chiller? So, chiller size. So, if you have a chiller, let's just say a 1600 amp chiller. So I'm going to go to a frame of 1600 amp and I can buy a plug of a 1600 amp that will be that would be the best way to do it. And then you can dial it down. I know you can size it. Then you can dial it down based on long time pickup to, say, a 1350. And so forth. On the main, on the main doesn't it make sense to go up one so we can dial that down for increase? Or that not more than, more than 4,000? You don't want to go more than 4,000. The no. Excel wouldn't even give you anything more than 4,000. I don't know if they give even more than 3,000 now. You're limited to three to four thousand. So it doesn't get you. It doesn't do you any good to go higher than four thousand a.m. When you said they won't give you more. Than Service, that. like if you want to get uh, Excel, they oh, Excel okay, as a utility. Yeah. Typically, they limit you to three to four thousand a.m. If you want more, then you get you another feed, another service. Okay. Thank you. And the last thing um, before we leave that one and go to our exercise. Um, so that's your pickup. That's the type of the circuit breaker that we're going to use. And I'm going to go to page uh, 21.116. If you guys go to page 21, the 21, 1-16, uh, all the way, these are all the curves and all this good stuff. I'll give you the adjustable in this circuit breaker. Uh, here's 16. So here's where I adjust it. Push buttons, here's the curve that we talked about. We're going to go adjust it. The ground is right in there. And then here's what where your curve is going to look like. And it's much better than the curve that I drew for you. So this is your long time pickup. And Chris, if you look at this long time pickup, they're giving you the, the long time pickup is 0.4 to 10. Here's your uh, typical settings for the long time delay on this circuit breaker, 2 to 20 seconds. Short time pickup, 2 to 10 times the long time pickup and the short time delay. They're giving you 0.1, all these 0.1 in seconds. So these are all the adjustables, adjustable parts of your circuit breakers. Obviously, there's an instantaneous that's going to come over here. Um, so that's a typical on this circuit breaker. And we're going to go size this. And here's the trip units that you can buy, guys, digit trip units. You can buy them in different sizes and plug in. These are the plugs that you plug inside your uh, circuit breaker to change it from one, one uh, plug size into a different plug size. And each one of them has its own characteristics. You can get a whole lot of info and a whole lot of information about it. Okay. Uh, let me stop by here and see. All right.